Primo, prime time. Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. It's day one, the opening day of the much anticipated September tournament coming your way from right here, the Kokui Kan, the home of Sumo in Tokyo, as tickets for the entire two week contest is sold out. All right, without further ado, let's find out how things played out on the opening day, day one. Sumo Prime Time. All right, how about we start the action from the second tier junior division. First, we have Shishi from Ukraine, whom we featured last week here on Sumo Prime Time. That match will be followed by the matchup between two foreign-born Rikishi. It's Roga from Russia taking on Tamashoho from Mongolia. So here we go, Shishi and Ichiyamamoto. Good hard pushing and thrusting by Ichiyamamoto. Shishi gets an inside position but loses a grip. Ichiyamamoto keeps going forward. Shishi with a good agility. So goes away. Shishi gets taken back and out. Ichiyamamoto shoves Shishi out. So the Ukrainian Shishi loses on the opening day. A very aggressive sumo by Ichiyamamoto. He overwhelms Shishi from Ukraine. Tamashoho with a quick charge, but Roga goes deep inside with the left, and he goes forward, and he dispatches Tamashoho in a hurry. Roga from Russia is the winner. Tamashoho loses. All right, let's now move on to the things in the top Makuchi division. But first, we have some disappointing news. The July tourney's sensational rookie Haku Oho will be MIA missing in action. He underwent surgery on his left shoulder and is in no shape to compete this time. And Yokozuna Teru no Fuji will be on the sidelines due to herniated disc. It will be his second consecutive absence. Let's hope he comes back in the November tournament. Well, it is what it is, so we have to rely on those who are competing to make things exciting in the fall tourney. Now, here is a man who's never been absent since his pro debut in 2006, and that's Nishikigi. The 33-year-old has been promoted to the fourth highest rank of Komusubi. On day one, he took on the 38-year-old Ironman Tamawashi. Long attack by Tamawashi. Tamawashi pushes Nishikigi. Nishikigi rallies and Nishikigi forces Tamawashi back and out. Nishikigi wins over Tamawashi with another splendid performance by Nishikigi. Nishikigi goes to 1 and 0 oh with a strong forward charging sumo. Kotono Waka is making his debut at the third highest rank of Sekiwake. Let's see how he did on the opening day as he faced off against Shodai. So Waka goes for the Morozashi, but it doesn't work. Shodai pushes back by Shodai back, but also in Kotono Waka with a nice inside position. He overwhelms Shodai. Kotono Waka is the winner. The Shin Seki Waka, the newly promoted Seki Waka, gets off to a, an auspicious stop. Here on day one, he goes to 1 and 0 oh with a splendid forward charge. Kotono Waka is the victor. The winner of the previous tournament, Ho Shou Ryu, is the newly promoted Ozeki. He's aiming for back to back championships. On day one, he fought against hard pusher thruster Abi. Abi attacks with his fierce pushing and thrusting attack and Ho Shou Ryu is on his heels. Ho Shou Ryu bends, but his defense doesn't break. What a flexibility and resiliency by Ho Shou Ryu. 
And Abi almost defeats Hosho Ryu, but Hosho Ryu is able to circle away and finds a way to get his first win as an Ozeki. Hosho Ryu comes out on top. He is 1 and 0 here in the fall tournament. Hope Tofuchi came so close from winning his first title in July. On day one, his opponent is Ozeki Takakesho, who must score more wins than losses this time in order to remain at Ozeki. A spirited Tachai by Takakesho, but Hokuto Fuji going mano a mano with Takakesho. He goes for the slap down. And the Gyoji points the Goombai to the east side. Hokuto Fuji, but we're going to have a mono E, the conference by the judges. And there will be a review of the match. Takakesho pounds away. He goes forward and he's already diving. And uh, looks like uh, Hokuto Fuji has stayed in the air a little longer than Takakesho, but the Hokuto Fuji's right foot already out before Takakesho hits the deck. All right, here is the explanation by the Sadugatake Oyakata, the chief judge. He says uh, the Hokuto Fuji got the nod from the Gyoji, but after a discussion, uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, Takakesho going down and Hokuto Fuji going out of bounds at the same time. So we're going to have a Torinaoshi rematch. Long charge by Takakesho, he pulls, and he gets taken down by Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji clearly stays in the ring this time. So he completes the Hataki Komi slap down, and Ozeki Takakesho bites the dust on the opening day. Hokuto Fuji upsets Takakesho. Hokuto Fuji 1 and 0. Oh. And Ozeki Takakesho off to a bad start here on the opening day of the fall tournament. All right, our final match on the opening day is a dandy. It's Ozeki Kirishima taking on the flying monkey Tobizaru. So just like Takakesho, Ozeki Kirishima also has to finish with more wins than losses this time in order to retain his Ozeki status. Good attack by Kirishima. Kirishima keeps Tobizaru at bay. Tobizaru can't get any kind of a grip. Hirishima gets a double inside hold on Tobizaru. Tobizaru a banzai position and it's all over. Hirishima the Ozeki overwhelms Tobizaru the flying monkey. Flying monkey unable to use his speed and agility today. Hirishima all over with his relentless offense. Hirishima the Ozeki is the winner. Tobizaru loses. Sumo prime time. All right, that's going to do it for the opening day of the September tournament. Now, don't forget to tune in to Sumo Prime Time's live streaming show tomorrow on day two. And please join me for the play by play live commentary of all the Maganochi bouts on day two of the fall tournament. It's going to be a one heck of an exciting show. So, again, don't forget to tune in. I'm Hiroborita. Arigato for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow for the live streaming show. Sayonara! Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.